Hello friends, welcome to SQL practical question series. So here is another interesting question. So here is a table that contains the information about the um, cricket teams who played in one particular tournament. So this table contains information about uh, which team played as a team A against which team that is in the team B. And in the third column, who is the winner among the team A and team B. So basically this is uh, there is information about 14 matches uh, many countries played against some different countries and there is a winner so what you need to do is you need to write a select statement to display the number of matches played by each team and the number of matches won by each team and the number of matches lost by each team for example your expected output should be something like this for example so let us take the row 13 and 14. So here New Zealand actually played against Sri Lanka and New Zealand played against India. So what you need to do? So for New Zealand, so totally New Zealand played two matches. So you need to say the number of matches played is two, but they didn't won in any matches. So you need to say zero matches won, two matches lost. So like that you need to give for all the countries played in this particular tournament. So this is one such uh, uh, question uh, which will help us to write because see many times what happens is we will not be able to write the entire thing in a single straightforward query. So what you need to do is you need to logically split the query into small smaller chunks of query. Then you try attempting or try writing for each smaller piece of thing. Finally once you have done with all the smaller piece of sequels stitch all the sequels together and present as a single output. So this is one such question will help us to understand and write multiple smaller chunk of sequels. And finally, we can combine all the sequels together as a single SQL and we can execute. Okay, so let us just logically split this before even we start writing. First, let us see how we will start writing. Okay, so I will say let us logically split this into four different unit. So the first unit will say what is the name of the team. Okay, so this is nothing but you consider the complete team A and team B information. Just get the unique list of names of the team. So that that constitutes your first part. The second part is nothing but that is the number of matches played is nothing but you need to count how many times a particular team occurs in this list that is within team A and team B. For example, New Zealand occurs twice. So you need to say two for New Zealand. Same way if we say Australia, it will be somewhere around uh, five. For example, one here, another is two, three, four and five Australia. So like that you need to count. So that is the second piece of information. And the third is nothing but the matches one. So that is quite straightforward because all these information are in there in the single column itself. You just need to count the information within the winner column alone. And finally, the matches lost. Since we already calculated the number of matches played by each team and matches won by each team, you can just subtract the second and the third information to get the last information. Okay. Now let us learn how to write step by step uh, or let us learn how to write smaller chunks of SQL, then how to stitch things together to just display as a single output. So here I'm just going to create the uh, table called cricket, which contains four column, the match number, team A, team B and winner column. So the table is created. I'm just populating the same information here. All these 14 records are populated now. I'm just committing. Let us just query from the table. So the informations are available now. Okay. Now let us start writing the query. Okay. So the first uh, step is let us combine the first piece of information and the second piece of information so that it is a bit easy for us. So first I am selecting team A from cricket because basically we want to know the first the list of team. So obviously some country may played as a team B. So this is the second part. Now what we can do we can say union all. So this will just give us a complete list of teams whoever has played either a team A or team B. Suppose if we put a union, 
this just gives us uh, it based union basically removes all the duplicates right it removes all the duplicate entry from the previous data set and it just gives a unique that is this just gives us a list of teams who played in the tournament so, or if you want the complete thing you just put a union all so that we'll get the complete thing so now i have got the complete thing now basically we want to know how many times each country appeared here so what we can do we can use a group by conditions here or we can use a uh, uh, group by uh, functions here or multi row functions okay so let me give an alias name here called team name so now in an outer query i am selecting team name i am using the count of star okay count group function from this particular inner query since we are using the count we need to put a group by class so i am saying group by team name now if we see we actually got the first piece of information that is how many times each country played in this tournament so this is what is our first expected output that is the first two columns we got okay let it be like this now we'll compute the uh, third column that is how many times each country won in this tournament that is quite straightforward because all those information are in a single column so we basically want to know basically want to compute from the uh, winner column only so first we'll select winner column okay winner column so it's quite straightforward we will just put a group function here and finally group by winner so this just gives us a, how many times a country win uh, you can see one difference here in the complete list actually we got a new zealand that actually played in two matches but they didn't won in any match that's why it's not appearing in the winner list okay fine now we have got both the informations the uh, uh, list of country and how many number of matches they played and in the second query we got uh, how many matches each country won in the tournament now we just need to stitch these things together okay so let me just make use of a with clause here okay there are few other ways by which we can combine these two things which we'll see later to make it very simple i'm just using a with clause okay so the first with clause i'm just mentioning like matches played okay as the entire thing i'm just making as a with class query here okay so this is our first with class comma so this i am just making it as a second query matches matches one okay so this i'm just making so this becomes our second part of the with class so now we can say select star from matches play okay so we'll just give some meaningful alias here saying that count let me also give a count here okay now we can actually select from select sorry matches one as keyword is missing here yeah now we are actually selecting from the matches played same way i am selecting from matches played now i am just doing full outer join okay on matches played dot team name equal to let me just give the same um, okay that's fine winner should be the fine matches one dot so winner so winner is the team name here right i'm just giving like this now if you see we got the team name so this is basically from the first part of the with class that is matches played and how many matches they have played so this is the team who uh, the name of the team who won and here how many uh, matches they won uh, this is null because there is no record matching record for new zealand in the uh, winner winner section right so that's why okay now we'll just select whatever the column we just need okay so we need a team name count and count basically from matches played okay matches played dot count and we need the count from matches one dot count 
okay now we got okay we don't want to display it as null because we just wherever there is a null it means zero right because new zealand didn't want anything so we need to just display as a zero so what we can do we can just put a nvl function here nvl comma zero so we can just give a meaningful alias here matches matches one same way here we'll give a meaningful alias called total matches something like this so now we got uh, the team name and the total number of matches they have played and the number of matches they won so now it is very easy for us to compute the number of matches they lost we just need to uh, subtract the uh, second column and the third column okay so we'll just give let me just line for a better readability purpose so now what we can say so here is the total match minus so here is the number of matches they have one so this will just give us it's because of this alias name right yeah now we got uh, the total number of match the number of matches they won and the number of matches they have lost so let us just give a meaningful alias here matches lost okay so this is what is expected output and this is how you can write a multiple individual simple sqls and finally you can stitch them together to make it as a single sql as per the expected output so this is one way by which you can write in fact uh, you can write in many other ways i just want to give you one more way um, so the, here I have just used a with class. Let me show you one more query. So as you can see here, here I'm not using a with class. Instead, the logic is exactly the same. I'm just uh, putting all the queries in the inline view in the from class. So this is the first part of the query, which just computes the team wise total matches. So I just gave an alias called matches play. Same way in the second part, I just gave the uh, query to compute the number of matches they won. And in the uh, actual query, I, I use the same logic of subtracting the total matches minus the number of matches they have won. Okay, so this is another way. So there is one more way which you can write. In fact, you can use a, uh, you can write a function for everything. So what I basically did here is that I just computed the list of name and I'll just pass this name to each function. So what basically I've did, I've just uh, return two functions one is to get the number of matches they played and another function is basically to get the number of matches they won so these functions i'm just using in the select statement see the advantage of using function is that many times you will not be able to write the complex logic directly in the select statement in that case i would suggest you just go for a function basically you can create a function in the um, pl sql layer then you can call that function from 12.2, if, if in case if you're going to use that function only for your select statement, then you can define it as part of the with uh, class, but that is supported only from 12.2 only. Just keep it in mind, this part, this type of SQL, like using a function in with class is supported only from 12.2. But uh, in earlier versions, if you want to try, you can just write this function as a PL SQL function, then you can call. The reason, uh, but for this scenario, I will not suggest function because we can easily implement these information in the SQL itself. But sometimes in case if at all you need to implement a very complex um, logics then you can write a function then you can call this function by that way your law um, your code also will be more readable and it will be more modular in programming so here is our uh, uh, first way so basically we what we did we just wrote two queries so one one uh, query to compute the first and the uh, second column the uh, another query to compute the matches one and finally we just subtracted and subtracted the number of matches and the matches one to get the third column that is in our uh, uh, main query okay so this is basically using the uh, with class concept the same exactly the same logic we have used in the uh, another query instead of using in the with class we just used it in the from class so i just made it as a inline view in the from class but keep it in mind you need to use the outer uh, join either of a uh, full out uh, left outer join or a full outer join the reason is uh, new zealand uh, is not part of this winning uh, query output so you uh, you so you need to use the full outer or left outer otherwise that particular record won't come okay so the third part is that you can write a function for whatever the information you are expecting so basically i wrote one function to get the number of matches played 
and another function to get the number of matches one so these two functions will just take one input that is the name of the country as an input and it will just compute basically it again is going to query back from the table only but any logic any complex logic you can just put it into this function it will basically compute and return the count so you can directly use it and finally these two uh, the number of matches played and the number of matches one i subtracted in the uh, outer query okay so basically these functions you can just call directly in the thing but keep it in mind this defining a function in a with class is supported from 12.2 but if you want to try you can try uh, creating these functions a pl sql function in the pl sql layer then you can call from here if you have if you want any questions to be answered you can just drop in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id uh, if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview questions concept videos tips and tricks Thanks a lot for watching this video.